Thank you for joining the Performance Management Seminars, where we tackle tough issues in performance management. My name is Victor Holman, and I am the CEO of Lifecycle Performance Professionals. We've all made the decision that we were going to try to change our physical appearance. Whether we decide we are going to exercise or, uh, or diet in order to lose weight, or whether we decide we are going to lift weights and go to the gym in order to gain muscle. Well, the first thing we did was we jumped on a scale and we weighed ourselves, or we went to a gym and we lifted various weights to get an idea of where we stood. Well, what we were doing was creating a baseline. We were creating a snapshot of our current selves. Now, let's pretend we didn't create this baseline. Let's pretend that we didn't step on the scale and we didn't go to the gym, but what we decided to do was use Mr. Universe or Miss America as our baseline. And we decide, hey, I'm going to look just like Mr. Universe or Miss America. Well, we wouldn't have been using accurate data and we wouldn't have been finding realistic goals. And ultimately, we may have started, but momentum would have fizzled and ultimately we would fail. Well, today we're going to discuss performance baselining. We're going to discuss the importance of baselines. We're going to discuss the different types of performance baselines. We're going to discuss variables of complexity that are involved when you do a baseline. And we're going to discuss a simple methodology for you to create your own performance baseline. You see, all baselines are are historical data used to calculate averages and standard deviations. Uh, your average establishes the baseline and your standard deviation is basically the percentage of change which is deemed acceptable. If your goals are well defined, what you decide to baseline is quite obvious. But if you have vague and unclear business objectives and goals, well, what you decide to baseline is a little more complex. So, what is a performance baseline? A performance baseline is performance information gathered at the beginning of the initiative from which variations found throughout the performance life cycle are measured. Baselines may also be used to establish goals and standards, to set SLA metrics and performance thresholds, and to make important business decisions. There are three types of baselines, rolling baselines, recurring time-based baselines, and specific date baselines. Rolling baselines compare current performance metrics with a statistical baseline calculated for a period of hours preceding the current period. For example, you might compare last month's performance to the average performance of the previous 12 months. Recurring time-based baselines compare current performance metrics with performance baselines calculated from the same period. Daily or weekly baselines are good examples of recurring time-based baselines. Specific date baselines compare current performance metrics with the metrics from a specific date. For example, gathering baseline sales metrics for the day after Thanksgiving. Historical baselines often answer the question, how many, such as how many tickets were created over a given period of time. The historical baseline data are the averages of such counts that over that specified period. Baselines can be relative to any arbitrary point in time. While this seems simple, it gets more complex when you take into effect some of the following variables. Variables of complexity include processes that take several days to complete, business day calculations, calculations with multiple time zones, calculation based on phase implementation. Now processes that take de several days to complete expend, extend for multiple days. Counting and time calculations become considerably more difficult, especially when reporting a tool is not utilized. Such long-term processes are common in business domains such as call center and order fulfillment. If not properly designed, double counting is almost inevitable if your reporting utility lets users query any time period at any level. Business day calculations. In many cases, processes are executed on business days and during business hours. In this case, the proper divisor at the day level is the number of business days in the last 365 calendar days, taking into account weekends and holidays.
The divisor at the hours level is the number of business hours in the last 24 hour period. Calculations with, mo with multiple time zones. On a global scale, business processes can span across multiple cities around the world. This means the data encompasses multiple calendars reflecting different holidays and work norms, for example, six-day work weeks. The baseline divisor thus becomes a function not only of time but also of location, thus furthering complicating the process. In calculations based on phase implementation, in a phase implementation approach, new locations go live as the enterprise expands or as the process gets deployed around the world, such as in a phase enterprise re resource planning implementation. In this case, the baseline calculation must take into account how long a particular location has been live in order to obtain an accurate baseline. 